Hi guys. Okay, so exercise number one. Video number two. Okay, the numbers are really matter here. Either way. Exercise number one. And the first thing that we want to do here to fix this little um this little this little problem in each that we each issue that we have. Uh we wanna get Want to get lower legs. If you have wind and then look at guys walking on the street and you notice, you watch yourself. You take a look at yourself. You take a picture. You see guys, you notice that you have troll legs. Here, troll legs. That means shorter legs. This one there. Short legs. Um, and, and if you actually want to watch the very first video that I had, that I posted, talking about the kind of, the, the whole, the, 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 the concept of, of it, well, um, uh, this is exercise number one, it's called it's called uh, losing the shoes. Okay, lose your shoes. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if some of you. So, uh, I don't care what video you might have just watched before. Try to do this exercise. With me. <coughs> losing the shoes. If if you have um had time to watch the video that I had before where I demonstrated a uh, few of the things and the general concept of it <coughs> one of the problems that causes causes us to have theoretically have this short trollics trollics is because we wear shoes all day. Okay, we wear shoes all day. And okay, so it's like this. Um, even if, uh, unless if it's for for guys that wear sandals all day, they walk in sandals. They just like to wear sandals and then and then um, go everywhere in sandals. Unless it's for ghost guys, they will have a uh, lesser problem of of this of this, and you and you notice it. But for guys that wear shoes like this, even if it's just like like one inch, one inch, the thickness of it, it's only like it's almost one inch, not even one inch. When we put on the shoes. It creates this, um, creates this, this, um, it breaks, breaks the, um, our body proportion, okay, it breaks our body proportion into parts because now, uh, if you think about it for a second, when we are, when we have shoes, when we have shoes, look at, look at here, look at the lines, and it, for me, for me, I think, I think it's supposed to be this part, our thigh bone, and the, uh, the front leg here. This is the uh, back view of it, the front view of it. They're supposed to be one to one, okay, um, for a uh, healthier lifestyle, for healthy healthy, um, healthier living, everyday walking, um, and everything, supposed to be one-to-one, -one. and having shoes on, 
it, it breaks that equilibrium. And, and even, even, even though it's just one inch thick, it might, it might just be one inch thick, um, our body kind of, kind of uh, tend to conforms and then adapts to, um, to um, what we do and what we wear. So here, in, in this case, what we wear. So think about it for, for a second. Uh, you, we go to, um, to, to that one day, uh, we go, um, ice skating, right? Ice skating. Uh, and, and we all know how, how ice skating skates look like, right? It's not just, not only is it, is it does it have the one inch, the one inch uh, cushion at the bottom has that blade that that extended out, which is like this. So essentially, we're wearing uh, the skates under our feet, okay, under our feet. So when we're walking, we're walking. We we normally just walk and walk, and then we walk to this the ice rink, the ice rink there, right? and then now it's all of a sudden we have to put on this um. This uh, uh, ice skating skate, and and then and then we suddenly all have to uh, um, skate in them, just just out of nowhere. So and and what this does, what this does, really does is is and you, you I'm pretty sure um, you feel you will feel it. Uh, if for those if if you had not. I skated before. Think about uh, just regular uh, roller skating um, and such. Are are good things like um, skateboarding. You know anything that adds additional additional height. Uh, like like something that we wear like a tool under our feet. And the first thing. The first thing that what happened to us is we lose balance. Okay, we we set we we put we, we take off our shoes and then now we step step into the, those boots and now onto the ice. It's not just and and a lot of times we we have that um, misconception. Oh, it's because we're on ice and it's slippery and such. So that's why we don't we can't maintain our balance. It's uh just just think about it for a second. Even if it's not on ice, and okay, just here like like just like this, this um the wooden floor. We okay, might not just do. We're walking at home. Okay, we do. We we stay at home, and we we go get. I I can't I can't because I don't have skates with me right now. But if I were to get a pair of skates into the house right now, and then. And then start putting them on, right? And immediately try to, you know, stand on top of them. We're still going to lose balance, no matter what. Okay, so if you just think about it that way. Um, that's why. That is why. Uh, the first thing, the first thing, and exercise number one, that uh, if you have time to try. Um, like is this story? This again does not guarantee. Uh, there's no really no guarantee for this kind of thing. That that oh okay you're gonna get longer legs now uh, because because just by doing this exercise there I it can't guarantee that 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 that, that kind of thing. But then but then here's a here's the thing. I believe for you guys to be. For all of you to be watching these videos, who feel how I feel, who 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 who's really really tired of um I'm not gonna say being short, but then but then having the same problem of um hey looking around while playing sports, not playing sports, looking at another guy that has just like um 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful long arm um, um, I mean the, the, the lower legs here and um, you're just really tired of looking at them and, and I think you know, why is it does it have and then go uh, and go then there um, uh, think <coughs> oh it's because it's because of um, it's because of um, my uh, it's in my genetics right it's not in my genetics it's because of what I eat has been eating so far to this point that makes me who I am you know the the so called I am who I am what I eat right for you guys to, to come to come here with me and then watch this video even though um I I, I sound crazy uh to to be to be saying all, all this kind of thing <clears throat> you really really do are trying to find some kind of way some kind of ways to to um to you know perhaps to say perhaps something could happen perhaps I can have what everyone else has or not everyone else has or I can have what I want to have right and is there is it Okay, so is it some and and that has nothing to do with and is uh, okay, and it's like and, and the video that uh, it's not about eating. I'm not gonna say eating because I don't believe in that 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 thing. Eating is just part. It's just part of us. It's more about like I said in the first. I remember saying in the first video is it's about what we do and who we are as a person what we do. It's very, very important to do with what we do. And one of the things just so happens to really, really give us this huge setback is wearing shoes that You think about thinking about this but like this. Every day we go out, right? We go out, we go to wherever we want to go, go work, go to work, go to school. What is one thing that we all have to wear? Yeah, to wear. Clothes. Our clothes. And our shoes. Okay, so it's one thing that we just all have to wear. Shoes? Are you gonna say this? This has nothing to do with, uh, has nothing to do with this? I don't think so. Okay, now another really important point. I know this video is getting a little bit long but I will I'll I'll I'll, uh, perhaps I'll cut it into half. And then but then um everything here I really want to finish what um what uh, I explained is that uh, so where is it? okay okay things I'm back sorry I'm back um so first on time now. What you see here is a pair of barefoot shoes. I um I don't know if all of you have heard of barefoot shoes. Barefoot, yeah, it's called barefoot shoes. They're shoes, but then uh, they walk and and it's the, at the bottom of, of the shoes. Well, why they're called barefoot shoes is the cushion. Uh, the bottom of the shoes are literally uh, it's like really really thin and which makes it feel like and supposed to function like you're walking in barefoot and it 
and most of the time the um, also has the um, the uh, usually has this 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 flexibility issues that it just bends and you know, kind of kind of like forms around your feet. But anyways, they're they're really lightweight and very good shoes. Now, so I have barefoot shoes, and I think they they, they were kind of popular uh, a few years ago. Oh, it's 2013 now. But uh, when I bought these shoes, uh, I just want to kind of kind of um, kind of talk about them in, and and. and can kind of include them in this. We can't. Since okay, when I say the exercise is about losing shoes, but then it's impossible to not wear shoes, right? Um, but then, so one solution that I found that could work is to wear one of these shoes. There, there. There are some. There are finger shoes. There are, uh, I mean, five, five toes shoes that are also called barefoot shoes. There are a lot of kinds of barefoot shoes out there. But then, but then, um, yeah. Well, what this? Well, wearing these shoes. Um, it's great about wearing these shoes is, is they're really lightweight. And okay, I'm not advertising for these shoes, but. <clears throat> I'm saying what what they what what they can do in this case can help in this case is you can almost you almost can't feel like you're wearing shoes so and which will kind of serve the purpose of okay losing shoes but then still want to wear something that protects your feet not um, barefoot shoes originally though. Um, the purpose of why why I bought why I was interested in buying the shoes is um was not for this not uh, not about this is is what they say they do that these shoes um because I'm I, I, I'm um I um uh, I I'm kind of the uh, one of those more active guys. And um, so I do different sports and stuff. Doesn't really matter. Um, what they did say is when uh, these shoes promotes promotes better running foot strike, and uh, which are supposed to be uh, I think like a healthier way to um, to run that. Um, not exactly sure what is that what um, like the detail of it. You, like I'm pretty sure you switch it up, but <clears throat> anyways, these will help greatly in this situation here. So, so that's what we want to do. Walk around, walk around. <clears throat> if you can't, uh, in the house. Take off your shoes, or well, most people do, anyways. But then on at the outside, you know, some there are some people that like to when they're on grass, well, when they're like walking on grass, they like to take off their shoes and stuff. Uh, I was like, do that, try that, and then for me, what I do is I really, really try to imagine. Okay, imagine to be. It's not just. It's not just like okay. Uh, it's not gonna make a difference, any significant difference, and you feel you're not gonna feel really, really feel that these legs here uh, they are stretching because because we're really what well, what well, like um, this is what we are trying to do here, right? To um, no, no, I'm not stretch. I'm not gonna say stretch because. I was just because uh, I believe I believe um, human human being 
human being is really good at adapting to the environment that they're given with. Because uh, as long as the person is uh, is eating, is drinking, sleeping well, rests well, and then I just, I just say uh, if if um let's say someone that that can't and doesn't know how to play hockey, and you give him the hockey stick, right? If you give him the hockey stick, I say okay, from now on, from today and on, and for four months. You're gonna be holding this stick wherever you go and uh, whatever you do. Take it everywhere, every, everywhere you go, and and even if that guy, the guy that maybe he just he he didn't know how to play hockey before, after four months, well, you bet he's gonna know how to like play a little bit of hockey or use that stick, you know, be hit just because. Well, maybe not, not that well. Uh, really depending on um, his core body coordination. But then again, what is body coordination, right? If, if this this is really 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 like part of body coordination. If you, if you really think about it, I'm outside. Okay, I'm outside. I'm running. I'm running. I'm, I'm so used to running in shoes. I'm so used to running. I run so fast. Uh, I can run so fast uh, and so comfortably ever since I was a kid. And um, whenever I, 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 whenever I'm, I'm wearing shoes, because why? Because, but now I have like troll legs. You know what I'm saying? Like they really have this relation. With each other. Um, now I'm outside. Now I come inside. I take off the shoes. I so all of a sudden I can't run that well anymore. Does that happen? Let's say, let's say if a burglar comes into the house and takes something, I just run. I won't be able to, you know, react immediately to the situation and then stops stops the burglar uh, from running away. You know, it's, it's, I guess it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know if you can, but um, maybe you can. But I can because I have short legs, and especially, especially when I take off my shoes in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 uh, do this, do this, and. And really, really try it. <sighs> Believe in it. Uh, even, even if this is something that we can't fix. Let's say, um, you keep hearing. Let's say, oh, I know. Uh, uh, what if I'm just not growing anymore, right? What if I'm just not? I just can't. I can't do this anymore. Oh, well, what if I, it's not? I'm never gonna work. Don't. Uh, you're watching this video, so you're for me. Um, even if it doesn't work for for me, if it doesn't work for me or for you. But don't think like that. Don't think about it like that. This is about discovering. This is really, really about discovering what. And why? Why we have um, shorter legs, and especially this part of the life for future generation, for kids, for children. Um, there might be something that we can do to to help to prevent the same thing from repeating. But before all of that happens, if you don't if you don't feel anything in your legs, there's also something wrong with you, I believe. Uh, unless if if you're someone that um, you know you know <sighs> uh, 
Okay. I believe every person in this world, no matter what age they're in, unless it's someone that's like really, 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 you know, um, uh, if a person that, that is like, that's to a certain age already, that can't really move that well, it's a hard, it's hard for you to move already, and then not, 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 and then not to, not only does he, he, not only does he cannot move around, um, easily, um, and then to ask him to do stuff like taking off his shoes, that's like just literally impossible. Unless if it's a person like that, if someone like that, then, um, I'll suggest for you to give it a try. Um, if you're, if you're, if you're, and especially for those that are still growing, go for it. This, okay, number one exercise, let me do. Take off the shoes. Lose the shoes. Okay, lose the shoes. And really walk around with them. And trying to imagine, imagine, like I do, imagine with that extra, with that extra length of having, uh, with that extra length of, um, of, um, of wearing your shoes, with that extra inch, with that extra length, with shoes on and without. Feel the difference, and then, and then, think of it as if you're walking in your shoes. 